My name is John Jacob. I'm the General Secretary of AGSI, the Association of Garda Sergeants and Inspectors. This year we celebrate our 40th anniversary. And when we were planning for conference, we looked at the areas that we as an association cover for our members. And one of those areas that we deal with, and we have a responsibility for delivering for our members, is on their welfare. We're responsible for looking after pay, terms of conditions of employment, and all those matters. But from my perspective, and from the association's perspective, unless a member is fit and well and capable of enjoying the other benefits, then there is no value to those benefits. So from our perspective, making sure that people are fit, well, mentally and physically, to do the job and to go home to their families and to have a family life and a social life outside of the Guard organisation is vital from my perspective. This year at AGMs, we heard stories from right across the organisation on how day-to-day -day routine activities are impacting on members' lives. So we have asked a number of our colleagues to share their stories with us here at conference today with a view to informing not just you, the members, who are familiar with what happens on a day-to-day -day basis, but the public and the media who are, will listen to us and hear what we have to say. And I think it's important for people to realise that while the public expect us to attend traumatic incidents and expect us to be available to deal with them in times of crisis, that we are ordinary people and that sometimes their crisis have an impact on our members after the event. And we want to highlight that to the public so that they're aware of what our people do on their behalf. But we also want to highlight it to garden management. Because as our employers, they have a duty of care to their employees and to our members to make sure that they are mentally well and that their health and safety is catered for within the organisation structure through appropriate welfare structures. So that's why it was an important issue for us to look at welfare for our team for conference. I think there's a lot more pressure on the people who are on the front line. And while we are an association of Garda sergeants and inspectors, we're equally conscious of the impact this has on the people who work with us, the Gardaí and indeed other senior managers. So stress is part and parcel of everyday life. We have to make sure that that stress and those things that influence bad stress in our lives are properly addressed, and properly catered for within the welfare structure. Garda management are here present today and they will be speaking later during the course of our welfare debate. But, and I'm delighted to say that they have put in place welfare structures across the organisation with a view to addressing members' welfare. However, I don't actually think that they're aware of the levels of stress that members are feeling and the difficulties they have in articulating that and how it might make them feel weak in the face of Garda management and in the face of their colleagues. But it is a day-to-day -day event. Dealing with stressful situations is something that our members are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And while you will hear stories which are, are dreadfully traumatic, there are other issues ongoing in the background which are impacting our members. The concern they have for the welfare of their colleagues who they dispatch on a daily basis as guards to frontline incidents. But additionally, and what people may not be aware of, is the stress that some of our members are put under as a result of protracted investigations, whether they are discipline investigations, whether they are GSOC investigations, or whether they are bullying allegations. And while our members in many instances are exonerated and are found to be innocent of any of the allegations made, while these protracted investigations are ongoing, it is very, very stressful for them and for their families and a worrying time for them when they go into their job on a daily basis. And these are matters in addition to the situations that you will hear about today, in addition to the very, very traumatic incidents our members will articulate here and which you will be familiar with, these are the matters that we want Garda Management to be aware of and to address in a, in a constructive fashion with us as an association and with our sister associations. 
I genuinely believe that Garda management want an effective and an efficient welfare service. And I hope that when they hear the situations that are discussed here today and the, the, the stress that people are under, that they will look at it from a new perspective. And with an, a, a perspective of bringing positive change and bringing into, in place a process that members will feel comfortable using and won't feel stressed, additional stress, because of the, the structures that exist. The perception among members is if they're perceived to be weak, if they're perceived to be suffering from stress, if they make a declaration that they're stressed, they're concerned that that will impact on their career and their promotion opportunities. And that shouldn't be the case. I mean, if you are suffering from work-related stress, the reality of it is the organisation should acknowledge that it's part and parcel of the job, deliver a service to make sure that they, you can cope with that stress, and they shouldn't hold it against you in the future because you were honest and you looked after your well-being. And if you're looking after your own well-being, you can look after the well-being of your colleagues. When we sign up to be a member of Angarda Siakana, whether it's a guard, sergeant or an inspector, we sign up to serve the public. We sign up to deliver a quality service in as best we can from within the resources we have. But we're human. We have families to go home to. If you're dealing with a stressful situation in work, we should be able to leave that stress in work and go home and enjoy a family life and a social life outside of the Garda organisation. We didn't sign up to 24-7 stress. We didn't sign up to stress that is so severe that it impacts on our quality of life outside of work. We didn't sign up for an organisation or a job that forces people to take unthinkable actions because they've reached a situation where they see no hope or no light. So I don't accept anybody's view that this is part and parcel of what we signed up for. So yes, I'm confident that Garda Management want to deliver an effective service. I'm not sure yet that that service is fully in place. And I hope that working with the associations and having heard what our members have to say here on video and from the floor, that they will realise that there are a lot more stressors involved in the organisation than maybe they're aware of. And perhaps that they need to look at this in a new light.